Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope. My name is Justin Domino, and I want to share with you today one of my favorite, all-time favorite verses in the Bible. But before I do that, I think it's no secret, and we've already heard this a thousand times before, but we are living in crazy times right now, and dare I say, unprecedented times. Like, if I hear that word one more time, I'm going to go crazy. But honestly, the world is crazy, and one of the solutions that I've decided to come up with in my own mind, and you've probably done the same thing as you probably said, man, if we just loved God more, if more people just loved God, feared God, we wouldn't have all these problems. And I've caught myself saying this about myself before too, like saying, man, Justin, if you just loved God more, you'd be able to overcome this, or you'd be able to overcome that, or things would change in your life. You just gotta love God more. And wow, that's true. <laughs> we do need to love God more. I think that that's a broken sermon that we preach to ourselves. That's only half of the story because really we don't just choose to love God more. God loving us is how our love for Him pours out. Now let me show you Romans chapter 5, verse 8, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. It says, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You hear those words? While we were still sinners, Christ died died for us. Our love for God pours out of His love for us. Because while we were still sinners, while we did not know God, while we did not love God, while we did not even care to know Him at all, we didn't love God, we hated God, we didn't want to live for Him at all. He died for us because He loves us. And so I want to encourage you today, don't put so much pressure on yourself to say, oh, gosh, I just got to love God more, but be reminded of his goodness. What has he done for you? What has he done in your life? He, A, not only has died on the cross for your sins, but what else has he done for you? I mean, for me, I look at my past and I say, man, a couple of years ago, we were looking for a house. We were trying to build one. We didn't know if we should buy one. God delivered. He gave us a house. And then I look at, man, when my, when my grandma passed away 10 years ago, I was broken, but then the peace and the presence of God showed up. And then when I was struggling in my sin, when I was a teenager, my addictions, and I was insecure all the time, what did God do? He gave me salvation, grace, and mercy. God shows up. He is good. He loves us. And so I want to encourage you today, let your love for God pour out of His love for you. It's only half the sermon if we just put so much pressure on ourselves to love God first. He loves us. He is the great initiator. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much, Lord, for your goodness, for your faithfulness, and for your love for us. And Lord, it's impossible for ourselves just to love you out of our own strength, out of our own might. Lord, teach us to love you in ways that we never have before, in new and refreshing ways. But God, let us never forget about the love that you have for us, that while we were still sinners, you died for us. That's an amazing gift. So Lord, I pray that we can love you back and Lord, be reminded of your love every single day. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, have a great day. And God bless.